A Kenyan athlete, David Tumo, emerged winner of the Lagos Marathon Saturday morning. The race, which is championed by Axis Bank, started in front of the National Stadium Surulere and ended at the Eco Atlantic City, Victoria Island, a 42 kilometer stretch. The Third Mainland Bridge, Osborne Road, Park View, and Leki Koyiling Bridge were among roads that were closed for the annual activity. Tumo set a new record spending two hours, 10 minutes to cross the finish line. Last year, since Ayehu Legese of Ethiopia won the marathon, he finished with a timeline of two hours, 17 minutes, two seconds. Tuma, the new winner, will be rewarded with a grand prize of $50,000. The first woman to cross the finish line was another Kenyan, Sharon Shirap. And now our sports correspondent, Doka Ujok, who joins us via telephone to give us more updates. Udoka, can you give us an update on the state of the Lagos City Marathon race? Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Can you give us an update? Okay, yeah. Um, like I said, the Lagos Marathon has been exciting and the runners are still here enjoying the best of music from our celebrities. Of course, the winners have emerged, and yet again, no Nigerian winners. Okay, how would you assess the conduct of the race and the level of participation, most especially by Nigerians? Okay, yeah. Um, so the, the um, organizers of the Lagos Marathon decided to put a fee for registration. And when I spoke to a few of the organizers, the fee was um, 5,000 Naira. And it's one of the reasons why they put a, uh, a price to it is to control the crowd because last year we had more than a hundred thousand runners so they needed to control the crowd but so far the organization has been good there's been availability of water soft drinks glucose and also the medical care too was top notch what about the participation of nigerians how would you rate it compared to what was done last year yeah as always we had a couple of nigerians come out not as much as we had last year because it was free, but since we had 5,000 hours to register, it, we didn't have as much as we did last year. But the participation was good, and um, the sportsmanship was also, was also good. Oh, what was the weather like, or what has it been like? Is it favorable or really hot? I didn't hear that. I said, what's the weather situation like? Is it favorable or extra hot? Oh, it's, the line isn't so clear. Can you repeat it? Okay, Udoka, I'm asking you about the weather condition around the race um, venue, the stretch of the road. Is it really hot because it's the dry season? It's hot. I wish you can see me right now. I'm sweating it out right here. But of course, we're here to enjoy the marathon and um, um, talk to a few of the winners. But it's really hot right here. All right. Uh, not, talking about the winner of the race, David Tumor, I learned you had a conversation with him. Can you share details? Okay, yeah, from the conversation, David, David uh, Bamasia Tumo, he's um, 31, he's from Kenya, he won the 42 kilometer race, and he won it in 2 hours, 10 minutes, and um, 23 seconds. And uh, he, he cut it away with $50,000. And he didn't just go away with $50,000, he also broke the record for the Lagos Marathon race course record. And he won 20,000 to his um, uh, 50,000, meaning he's going home with $70,000. A Kenyan coming all the way to Nigeria to win the Lagos Marathon, it, uh, that's a big kudos to him. And he was quite excited when I spoke to him. Okay. What can the Lagos state government do to improve the level of participation of Nigerians? Oh, well, sensitization um, matters a whole lot. And, um, of course, uh, the publicity has been good, but I think the government can still do more because we saw the governor at um, the stadium and the people still approached him and um, said a few good words to him. So I think the government, not the government now, private sector should do more to make sure that this marathon comes every year consistently. Because at this point, the Lagos Marathon from the bronze medal will move on to the silver medal which is a plus to Lagos and Nigeria. So I think if we do better next year, we just might hit the gold medal mark. All right, thank you, Udoka. And please keep us up to date on whatever development comes up. Of course, and before I go, let me quickly tell you about the female winner. Um, okay. Sharon, Sharon Cherub was the female winner. 
Yeah, she she's also from Kenya. She won fifty thousand dollars as well. Right. Yeah, and of course, the governor of Kenya State was the first to cross the was first to cross the finish line, but it was a near one. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.